All right, in this installment, we're going to take a look at micing an acoustic guitar either for live or studio work. Now, some acoustic guitars do have a pickup and even a preamp built in, and it's true, you could use that. In fact, if you're playing on a live stage with loud drums and loud monitors, you probably should use that. One rule when micing anything is that at the mic, the loudest sound wins. And what that means in this case is if you have a loud set of drums directly behind you, the acoustic guitar mic will pick up more drums than your acoustic guitar. On the other hand, if your stage volume is under control or you're in a studio, you're going to have a lot more flexibility. This photo depicts a common mistake. Whether micing a guitar live or in the studio, you do not want to put the mic directly aimed at the sound hole. This will typically pick up way too much low end and not enough clarity. There could be times in the studio where this is the sound you're looking for, but that's rare. And on a live stage, it's just typically not practical at all. I normally want a cardioid mic for the acoustic guitar. I want to place the mic about six to eight inches off the guitar and between the 12th and 14th fret and slightly turn toward the body of the guitar. And that will sound like this. Now live I'm only going to use the one mic. In the studio I might add a second mic. In that case the neck mic is in the same position as before and then I will add a mic on the body of the guitar. This mic is about six or eight inches off the body of the guitar, the same distance as the mic on the neck. I'll then pan those mics left and right. That was with the mics panned at 6 and 9 o'clock on the pan controls. Here are the two techniques, one right after the other. And now the two mics. Now in all these examples, no EQ, no compression, no reverb or any post-processing was used. Two mics obviously gives you the advantage of a stereo field and you can adjust the balance and the panning to fine tune the sound. With the single mic you can obviously double track the guitar part or add stereo effects to widen the sound. If you don't have a large diaphragm condenser, don't be afraid to use an SM57 or two SM57s for this. Hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.